also are backstage talking to Philip. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be back. Um, I think this is the second time I got to work on this show, so uh, it was cool. I'm still letting out some jitters and trying new things, but I was really happy about the way the night went. Now you were a contestant on this show yeah. back in season five. What, um, what changes have you seen and what are you doing? You know what these contestants are going through and then to come back and choreograph. Um, I think always from the beginning when I, when I came on the show, I wanted to choreograph. Um, I guess one of the advantages, obviously, of being able to be on both sides, um, I, I get to see what the dancers are going through. And I think uh, knowing how to support them in this moment where they're struggling, especially in the top four week, you know, like knowing how far to push them without making them go over the edge, you know what I mean? I think that balance, I think I, I've been uh, blessed to have the ability to know how far to push them. And honestly, I did push them pretty far today. And Gabby and Virgil did everything I could have ever asked for. I'm so proud of them. How was it like putting the routine together using Gabby's strength, using Virgil's strength, and the lyrical hip hop? What was the challenges, or was it any challenges? Did you adapt the choreography at all, or did you go straight through? You know, like, uh, I always like to push the dancers as much as well. I feel like in hip hop, uh, especially when you get a hip hop dancer, uh, a lot of times you kind of you, you kind of cater to them a lot. And I didn't want to do that because I feel like. That's the one thing uh, contemporary choreographers do a lot, where they'll just push their dancers in whichever direction they need to go to, to mold them to the choreography. And that's what I wanted to do this time, and they it paid off. Honestly, they were so nervous. Virgil's obviously smaller than Gabby, yeah. and, and he had to lift her all over the place. And, and, I, and I, th I could see the tension in his face every day we were working, but I believe that it would peak at the right moment. And when they went on stage today in front of a live audience, they made it happen, and they switched it on. And I. Um, it was just a beautiful thing to see because rarely in, in the hip-hop genre do you get to see people get so far outside of their element and succeed, and I was just really happy about that. Now, America's Best Dance Crew, we got to ask you, what was it like coming back and competing for the All-Star Edition and going up against the boys in Quest Crew? Yeah, no, it was fun. Honestly, that was like a big family reunion. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, it's all people that we've been working with for a while. Um, America's Best Dance Crew, I think, especially for my crew, was just... It was a chance to experiment because, you know, we wanted to go on the show, but we told the producers and everyone, like, okay, if we're going to go on, we're going to go on doing something completely different than what we're known for. Um, if we're going to go on, we're going to, you know, take advantage of, you know, the production side of things and really try to delve into it. So that was just our, our thing was just like, you know, before we get cut, let's see how many boundaries we can push. And I think that's, that was our goal the whole time. So I was happy with how it went. And, uh, yeah, just excited to be back and working on this show again, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was on your crew. Yeah. Now, how was it like to see her transition from this show when she auditioned last year? No, I cannot even tell you. Uh, Yaya, I never would have expected, like when I brought her here from Czech Republic originally, I never would have seen her doing contemporary jazz, Broadway. Like, she's opened up in ways I never would have uh, seen her ever. I think she committed a thousand percent to this show. Couldn't be more proud of her. The entire crew is proud of her. We watch her every week. We're so ex <laughs> like, it's crazy. And actually, it's funny because we have like alumni that are on yeah. my crew, yeah. and she's gone the furthest. So yeah. we're so hyped to see her. Yeah, we're so hyped to see her in the finals, man. Because she might do it for all of us. Wow. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, and yeah, no, I'm I'm super proud of her. That's great. Lastly, that's why I saw you just finished working on Taylor Swift video. What are you working on currently now? Uh, right now, there's a company. Um, it's actually with Hawk from Quest Crew and Moon from my own crew, and uh, it's called Axism, and uh, it's basically a, a creative group for. Um, for different like commercials and, and television shows. So, so we basically uh, map out the entire concept and shoot it. So I think that's like my next main project is kind of producing uh, that company and seeing where it goes. So Axism will be the next thing. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank good you. talking to you. Have a good time. You too. Thank you.